Murat Mambetov, I know, since 1985. It has been about 30 years now. We started working together in the main news agency, Castag. He worked in the Department of Photography, and I worked as a correspondent. He is distinguished by his professional approach in the first place. Given his service to the Kazakhstani journalism, we made a decision, and today he became an honorary Kazakh journalist. He was awarded with a medal and a badge. Photos of Marat Mambetov reflect our life as it is, without embellishment and special effects. He was praised and criticized, he was fired five times and he worked as a personal photographer for the Prime Minister. There was even a legend about him that he took the camera for the first time when he was seven years old. <laughs> Well, it was Bigeldin Gabdulin who wrote that I took camera when I was seven years old, and that is how it went. Well, I honestly say, I had no camera at that time. I envied the kids who had a camera. When I was around 12 years old, I learned how to develop the photo. You are sitting all night long developing photos, printing them. I think everyone should go through this process. The personal exhibition of Marat Mambetov reflects first steps of democracy of independent Kazakhstan and cultural heritage and traditions. The photographer selects a series of images dedicated to the Aral Sea, when he walked at the bottom, where he touched meager life of people withered by the sea. This grandmother with goats was captured by photographer in the mid-1990s. Why goats rush to her? She opens the door, throws something at them, maybe potato rolls. She chases them away. And how many hospitable people in that region? I was regaled with tea. She opens the chest drawer and then these chocolates. You can beat them with a hammer. You're a guest, she says. The author classifies his works to the field of visual anthropology. His photographs are like time machine that takes the viewers into a bygone era, immerses them into the green and open spaces of Kazakh Jailau, brings them face to face with celebrities. I travel a lot, doing exhibition of photos of different cities of the world, and they will not look bad. It doesn't matter what kind of camera you're using, all that matters is your vision.